guys, welcome to the channel. And yes, this is an unscheduled upload, but anytime on this channel, if there's something happening newsworthy within the Corvette community, if time permits on this side of the camera, I wanna be able to communicate and connect with you guys. And I'm so appreciative to have the opportunity to do so. So welcome to the channel. Gonna talk about three colors that are going down, being canceled early before 2021 Corvette production is over. More details on that in just a moment. If you try to reach me recently, I actually took, um, actually took my day off yesterday and uh, spent it uh, two hours in the driveway with my son Ryan chipping ice out of the driveway. Man, this whole country is a mess right now with this weather. It's unbelievable. Now my arm is just killing me. Then a couple hours later, what did I do? I do what most guys at my age do in the middle of an afternoon and your day off. I took a nap. I was down for three hours. My wife's like, uh, hello, uh, six o'clock, you eat dinner? And then I was up till one o'clock in the morning, mind racing all over the place. So it's good to have you guys here. Uh, my friend Keith, a Corvette blogger, actually tried to reach me yesterday. I missed his call as well. I talked to him this morning because he and I are friends. We both, we both share the same passion for Corvette and the desire to give you guys good, solid information, not rumors, good information. So he was trying to verify that these three colors, in fact, were gonna be canceled. So I did that this morning. We're gonna talk about that in detail. For those of you that have a 2021 that has not been released as far as its allocation, the colors we're talking about are Sebring Orange, Zeus Bronze, and Shadow Gray. Those colors will be canceled before the end of 2021 production, which that information, hang on, cue card. I don't know, <laughs> not yet anyways. It's coming soon. Important dates for you guys. If you're, and I'm shocked by this one because it looks so good on this car. If you're ordering Sebring Orange, your order allocation has to be released no later than the April 29th cycle. And the last build week for Sebring Orange for 2021 C8 will be the week of June 26th. Now, if you're ordering Zeus Bronze, it too, allocation has to be released no later than April 29th. And the last build week for Zeus Bronze will be June 14th. And here's another one that I'm shocked that, that we're getting rid of is Shadow Gray Metallic. Now, if you're ordering Shadow Gray Metallic, that allocation has to be released no later than May 27th. And the last week that they'll build Shadow Gray cars will be the week of July 19th. Now, here's what we know so far on allocation release, disbursement, and placing your order, sending it to production control. We've had allocations released in November, December, January, just finished February cycle. I'm going to talk about that here in a second. We know we have an allocation cycle coming for March and April. We assume, but now with some of this new information, we don't really know, is there going to be an allocation cycle for May, June, and July? I expect that there will be, but again, not knowing when they're going to end 2021. With them canceling these colors, I suspect the 21 production will probably end on time in the fall or maybe even sooner than they anticipated. With everything else going on, who knows what's gonna happen? This could change tomorrow. I think it's safe to say too that there is not gonna be an allocation cycle for August, September, and October. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about allocations for 21. It very well could be extended and they could build right through the fall for 2021 Corvettes, delaying the start of 2022. I don't think that's the case. A lot of information yet to be told on that. In fact, Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to take the phone off the hook. Now you know why it's hard to do vlogs during the day and why I do come in so early or stay late at night just so I have the opportunity to talk with you guys. So anyways, what we were saying is Chevy is going to let us know soon when 2021 model year will be over. I, I don't want them to go back to that summertime cycle. I kind of like doing this in the fall because, you know, if they were going to change over in June and July like they normally do, then we would have, we'd have 22s coming in July in July of 21. I mean, that's a little confusing to some folks. I think if you do that in the fall, then it starts to make a little bit more sense. You're ending 21 and kind of introducing a 22 early, but introducing it six months early sometimes is a bit confusing, but that's, that's pretty much how it's been. So we're not sure how that cycle and that transition is going to be. As far as the new colors that are gonna replace the three that we announced today that are being canceled, uh, I've got the internal names of those colors, I can't share that with you from the manner in which I, I obtain that. I don't wanna get anybody in trouble. I do appreciate uh, the folks that reach out to me and did share that with me. And it doesn't matter anyways, because these internal names will never be what you guys buy as far as a retail name. These are some pretty goofy names. They're, um, 
They're spacey, they're edgy. Uh, so we'll stay tuned and see what they are. I don't know what the coloring tones are going to be. I've heard a rumor of one, but again, we'll wait for Chevrolet to make that announcement for 2022. To give you an idea, uh, Ceramic Matrix Gray is a G9F code. If you go into your parts department to order that, like a touch of paint or something like that, they say, oh, you want the Genesis Metallic? I'm like, no, what are you talking about? I want Ceramic Gray. No, it says here, it's Genesis Metallic. So the Genesis Metallic is the internal name for the paint. Uh, with Chevrolet for ceramic gray, but we know it from the retail side, from the marketing side, as ceramic matrix gray. So that gives you an idea, so we'll let you know more on that. Um, so much is going on with the weather, parts supply. There's a number of factors that just make us keep stopping and go backwards. I think at the time of recording this right now, although I think they're back today, possibly. Uh, month to date for February, Bowling Green Assembly has made five 2021 Corvettes this month. It's it's just tough, but we're almost, like I said, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Just it's a little wee light. <laughs> it just needs to get bigger and we'll get there. So we'll keep you up to date on what's going on there with current production, cars that are waiting, allocations, ordering, all that kind of stuff because there is a lot that is changing, I think, right before our eyes. So more of these impromptu type videos will be coming on our channel. Another reason why I really, truly want you to subscribe and support us. I don't mind putting forth the effort. I appreciate your support by subscribing. You hit the bell, you make comments, you thumbs up the video, you spread the word for us. Thank you, you give me business opportunities. Thank you guys, I do appreciate that. And um, I was gonna mention something else here too. Well, I was gonna talk about uh, the production of my car I mentioned in the last video. Uh, it's, <laughs> I don't even know if it's gonna be now. Uh, it's supposed to be built the week of March 1st. That's what it's scheduled, but you know, that's gonna get pushed back. And I'm trying to set up a date for a send off pat party uh, what a great honor and a pleasure for me to have as many of you that can make it here. And I know some of you would love to but can't uh, just to share in a, uh, in a personal milestone and a great enjoyment for me. Uh, right now, tentatively, I'm trying to do April 10th. That's on a Saturday. I've got to clear that with the dealership. I don't want to conflict with regular business, so it might be April 9th. Uh, it might even be later. So then you're into the bash event. So I don't know when it's going to be. Uh, once I do, I'll let you guys know because uh, there is going to be an RSVP procedure and some other stuff that we're going to do just to just kind of make it a nice little three-hour event, feed you guys, do a cookout, and just, just have some fun. And, um, and get that car on the road, man. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm trying to talk about things that are positive and fun and share send-offs with you guys to keep you encouraged because if you go to the National Corvette Museum webcams right now, well, look at it. it is sad to see the Corvette Boulevard with no Corvettes on the boulevard. And if you look outside in this live shot that I captured, lots of snow and just no activity down there. So again, this is short-lived. Hang in there, guys. As far as stuff going on on the channel, again, I intend to do a viewer mail vlog and share some really neat stuff, great feedback from you guys, uh, just wonderful, real stuff about the people and this car and the marketplace. So that'll be up either Friday or Saturday. And uh, just up front, I don't know if we're going to be doing a uh, Sunday Coffee with Conti show. Um, I, I tell you, the order cycle that I just completed on Monday and Tuesday for the February allocations, and it's my own fault. I set it up this way and I've got to do it differently for March. I literally took myself out of business and was immersed with these customers 15 hours a day for two days straight, finalizing orders. Uh, real, we, got, we got cell phones going on speaker and I'm sending texts. Yeah, yeah, here's the picture of this wheel. Oh, here's what the side rocker looks like. Here's this interior. It was exhausting, fun, but exhausting. But it took me out of business and I've got to do that differently because we're going to be into season and I really can't do that. So I'm going to get a hold of you people that are going to have allocations with us for March and April, basically to get those changes as far in advance as we possibly can so we're not slowing you or ourselves down. And real quick before we go, and, and, and one of the reasons I'm probably not going to do a video on Sunday is when I'm just saying this or so you're not disappointed, is I, I am just... I'm fried, man. I'm mentally fried. I've got a lot of stuff shared, some send-offs I want to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm a little wiped out. So I, a good friend of mine told me, he says, hey, quality, Rick, not quantity. So I appreciate that. And you guys have been more than understanding. So me being gone for a couple of days on YouTube is not a big deal. Uh, but I know you count on the Sunday shows. I count on the Sunday shows. But um, I, I, I just don't know. So I, I, anyways, I'm, I'm just kind of rambling here, talking in uh, real time and real thoughts, just just blurting out. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because like I said, turn the camera on. Uh, I simply can't sit here and just talk with you. Before we go real quick, just a, a quick um, sad announcement. 
whether you liked them or not, and because I've got some ties to radio, and I have a desire to be back on air, I just love being in a studio with that mic, but uh, a guy that is basically an icon in the broadcast business, Rush Limbaugh, just passed away last night, and um, uh, he did some great things in radio. Uh, like I said, because of my radio background, you have immediate respect for that guy, regardless if you enjoyed his show or not, for him to accomplish what he did was amazing. So uh, rest in peace, Rush. And everybody, thank you for uh, taking the time to listen to my Ricky ramblings. But really some good solid information uh, about uh, the colors going down, uh, some new colors coming. As soon as we got some information on that, we'll share that. Production, all that kind of stuff is continuing to change, but I, 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 <laughs> brain fog. Get out of here. You guys have a great day. I'll see you soon.